And okay, the word that I'm going to give to y'all today, I'm gonna give y'all the title, and then I'm gonna keep your mind um, in there. Explain, explain. Yes. Um, the title of my brief message is going to be called "No Excuses." Okay, and my shirt. Shout out to my first lady. Shout out to my church fam about in faith. And my, whoop, whoop, whoop. Right, because that's her <laughs> third house. Yes. Um, with Bishop Anthony L. Elephant. That's Stephanie Elephant. Shout out to my husband who's in the roots. But she made my shirt and it has several palsy, which is something you could use as an excuse. Mm -hmm. But it's crossed out. She has handicap, which is something you can use as an excuse. But it's yeah. crossed out and queen, which is what remains, which is why. Um but like I said, the title of what I'm going to talk to you guys about today is called No Excuses, and I'll be coming from John chapter 5, and I'm going to read into the Lord said stop, and Amen. I'll be reading out of the, because I got 9,264 Bibles, um, I'm going to be reading out of the New International Reader's Version. And it says, sometime later, Jesus went up to Jerusalem for one of the Jewish sects. In Jerusalem, near the Sheep Gate, is a pool. In the Arabic language, it is called Bethesda. It is surrounded by five rows of columns with a roof over them. Here, a great number of disabled people used to lie down among them, where those who were blind, those who could not walk, and those who could hardly move. One person was there who had not been able to walk for 38 years. Jesus saw him lying there. He knew that the man had been in, in that condition for a long time. So he asked him, do you want to get well? Sir, the disabled man replied, I have no one to help me into the water, into the pool. When an angel stirs up the water, I try to get in, but someone else goes down ahead of me. Then Jesus said to him, get up. Pick up your mat and walk. This man was healed right away. He picked up his mat and walked. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to read verse 7 again. And it said, Sir, the disabled man replied, I have no one to help me into the pool when an angel starts up the water. I try to get in, but someone else always goes down ahead of me. Now, listen. That whole verse was a whole excuse. The verses above that say that there were people there that were blind. It was people there that uh, was, you know, they was crippled, but they could move. Yeah. They, we don't really know how disabled this man was, but he was disabled. So every time I read this, I be like, so he ain't trying to do nothing like you ain't yeah. roll over you ain't, okay. you ain't like us, let me us. just roll like he like we come up with so many excuses of why we can't do what it is that god has placed us here to do like he asked like this man right oh he asked this man do you want to be healed his first answer should have been yes but because he got so comfortable and complacent in his 38 years of whatever he was doing about mm -hmm. his food, <laughs> sitting there looking at the other people getting healed, going, I wish it was me. Whatever he was doing, you should have just said yes. Everybody doesn't have, you You had, no, just say yes. Like he ain't asking you what why? happened to mm -hmm. you, why you like that. Because he already knew you was like that anyway yeah. because he created you. But what I'm saying is like, we can't let our disabilities, physical or not physical, because everybody got something wrong with them. You just oh. can't.